Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be looking at the other set of cases, which we have the MBR cases now. So we have case one uh, for the MBR, case two, and then case three. Uh, these are all drives that have been uh, corrupted. So, but they use the MBR uh, disk schema. So let's let's go ahead and load them in Xways and see what can we see there, or what's going on. So if we load this, we can see the MBR really looks fine, but we can see that there is these A's over there. So we can see that something might have been like overwritten here. So we can see that. So if we go to specialist, interpret as disk. Okay. We can see that it was not able to uh, interpret the disk properly. Why? Because we have some uh issues with this partition over here so let's close it and let's go to our uh <coughs> excuse me let's go to our uh, 010 editor so if we go here and now if i bring the template drive we can see load which is fine when we go here to the template, the structure we have, we can see that this is the boot code, the 446 bytes, okay? And then we can, if we expand the, the structures for the partitions, entries, we can see this is partition entry number one, number two, number three, and number four. So we do see that we have three partitions because this one is empty, but this one also has been overwritten so if we expand it we can see that all of them have been overwritten with what with these a's so how do we find uh how do we find and solve this problem so one of the things is uh is to for example there are multiple ways to do this but since we already know where partition one is so the like the second partition because indexing starts at zero so because we know that we could go probably to that partition or that drive as you can see here and then probably uh, check it out so that's one but what another th way to do this is we can search for because probably this is also corrupted so we we don't want to depend on this the other thing is we could do is we could search for ntfs like each partition will have a volume boot record so if it's an ntfs it will have an ntfs volume boot record which is going to be at the first sector of that volume if it's a fat file system it will have the word fat in there so we'll we are going to use keywords in order to find where that partition is or at least where the area is and then use that to fix our partition entry now one of the things is here uh, this is the partition as you can see uh, this one we can uh, like the is it bootable or not so we can say it's not bootable okay and we can double check that later but uh, it's not bootable and then where does the head start we can say uh, <coughs> zero these values, by the way, the head, sector, and cylinder, they are no longer used, so we can just put zeros in there. Where does it end? We're going to also put that. Where does it end? The sectors, also going to put that. So this is the thing. These things we don't need. This one, we uh, probably it's like non-bootable, so that's why we put zero. Now we need to find out what type of partition are we looking at. So if we so let's do the search. So if we do a search, but this time search for text and let's say NTFS and do hit the search button. So now what we got here is, let me expand this a little bit, excuse me. Ah. Okay. <coughs> excuse me. So we can see we have 12 occurrences uh, of the word NTFS. Now, one thing to keep in mind is every boot 
like every boot record will have the two, the word NTFS appear twice. So if you look at this one, you can see that the word NTFS appears here and then appears over here. Okay, so this is probably where the partition starts. And then NTFS creates a backup for its volume boot record. So you'll always find two within the, the, uh, the volume boot record and you will find two in the backup of the volume boot record. So these two are for the volume boot record and these two are for the backup volume boot record. And then this one is for our second partition and this is the second keyword in the uh, volume boot record for the second partition. And then these are in the backup of that. Then these two are for the volume boot record of the third partition and then these two are in the backup of the third partition. So what does that mean? It means our drive actually starts where at this location because as you can see uh, the word NTFS is three bytes from the beginning of this uh, starting section or this sector. So we can see that it starts over here. So this is where we have our volume start. So the volume starts over here, but the keyword, which is NTFS that we were searching for, is three bytes from the beginning of the volume. So keep that in mind. So what we can do here <coughs> is use the hex value uh, uh, 1000 or 10,000, sorry. Or what you can do is say view and then the addresses, have them as decimal so we can get these addresses over here. Or we can also, because we are dealing with sectors, let's see if we have sectors, we don't, oh yeah, here, sector number. So we can see that we have sector 128. So what we can do then, if we go back here, so if we go back here and say relative sector, so our relative sector is actually uh, in, in, in decimal, uh, let's switch these values here to decimal. So decimal. So our value, the start, the drive will, or the volume starts at 128 sectors. Okay. So now we know where it starts. We still don't know where it ends. How can I find that? If we go back to our NTFS thing, our search. So again, the first one is within the uh, the first and the second are within the uh, the volume boot record of the first partition. The third and the fourth are within the backup uh, volume, the, the volume boot record, the backup one for the first partition. And then the fifth, this is where what my second partition will start. So you have one, two, three, four, and then here is where my second partition will start. So my second partition starts where at this address 102528. So if we bring a calculator, let's bring the calculator here because we do want to do some calculations. And I know there is a calculator here, but I still like to use this one. So we have this, the second partition starts at 102, uh, 102528, see here, 102528, 528. Now, and we saw it actually, so this is where it, this is where our second partition starts, and it means this is also where our first partition ends. So, but our first partition does not start at the beginning. It doesn't start from zero. It starts from 128. So we need to subtract one, uh, 128. So we get 102, 400. So if now we get that, and if we go here to this value and insert 102, 400, now I got what I got exactly my uh, drive details. And as you can see now, we should be able to parse, like if I bring templates again, drive, I should now be able to parse the volume and look at the drives which we have on this volume. Let's also look at it in X ways. <coughs> Excuse me. So if we go open and we get this one, and now if I say, hey, interpret, we can see that we have the starting sector. And if I bring the template for the MBR, we can see, oh, we didn't change the partition type. I will do that in a little bit. Forgot about this. We know it's an NTFS, so we will be changing the partition type. So let's go do that quickly. So the partition type here, it's an NTFS. So we'll just do it to seven and again, save. Okay. 
Now, as you can see here, we, we just need to reload this if you want. So we can go do that again, just so you can see the partition type thing. And if we do this, so if I go template, we can see the partition type is 07. And it says it starts at 128. So we see 128. And then the size is 102, 400. The size is 102, 400. And that's why the second partition starts at this location. Okay, so you can see here this is where the second partition starts 102528 which we saw and it ends at this is the size of it and so on and so forth uh, so now we managed to get our disk back and as you can see i can navigate now to this location okay because it has been successfully corrected or uh, fixed and yeah now we can navigate these partitions uh, easily so that's it for uh, this video. I hope this was clear to you and see you in the next videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.